Gracias, Teresa. Thank you once again for gracing this stage with your talent and your hospitality. You know, 35 years ago, this September, I walked on the Stanford campus for the first time. And I met someone who would become a mentor, an inspiration, and a friend for life. We shared much in common, both of us being a child of Mexican immigrants and of a household income so low that our undergraduate educations were virtually covered entirely by financial aid. During the tough times freshman year when I was convinced that Stanford had made a mistake by admitting me, I just thought of someone with my same background, that if that someone could get in and graduate, then surely so could I. Since then, this role model of such intelligence and integrity has gone on to reach the pinnacle of a noble profession. Unfortunately, we're not honoring Carolina Reyes tonight. <laughs> we're honoring her husband. <laughs> and after hearing tonight's tributes, I hope you'll agree that he hasn't done too bad himself. <laughs> nice job, X-Man. So thank you again to our gala chair, Pacific Gas and Electric Company, and all of our gala sponsors, Force Multiplier Solutions, Univision Communications, Facebook, State Farm, Amgen, Google, Herbalife, Target, Verizon, Walmart, the Coca-Cola Company, Edison International, Intuit, McLean Company, Microsoft, White Memorial Medical Center, the AFT, Duty Free Americas, Loan Max, Nielsen, thank you for your investment in the work of the Naleo Educational Fund. We're trying very hard every single day to continue the mission of Mr. Roybal to ensure that Latinos are able to fully participate in American democracy. Your participation tonight helps us do that. So thank you all so very much. Be sure to join us June 17th to the 19th in Las Vegas for the Nile 32nd Annual Conference. And a year from now, join us here for the 2016 Naleo Edward R. Roybal Legacy Gala. Now, before I invite you to join us for the dessert reception in the ballroom where we had our pre-function event, and I can share some stories from Stanford and <laughs> the night, and I, and I was sitting next to Congresswoman Rayva Allard, and I asked her if she remembered that one night in 1991 when we were sitting in Javier's office and he was in the assembly, and Willie Brown's staff was redrawing their assembly district lines. <laughs> and the drama that was going on that evening, see me in the dessert reception, we'll talk about that. <laughs> but before we go there, just like a point of personal privilege, to ask you to join me and extending a very special appreciation to one of the leaders of the Naleo Educational Fund staff who ends her 19 run at the organization this week. Karen Pina joined Naleo just a month after I did, so that together she and I and a team could build an institution driven by mission to serve our community. Karen leaves her own legacy on the organization as its principal development officer. The Naleo Educational Fund today is in its strongest financial position ever. She has helped grow our annual budget from $1.4 million in 1994 to an average of $9 million today. And when she started, when we both started, there was no reserve fund. Today we have reserves of over $2 million. She is going on to help ensure that generations of Latino young people in her native Arizona have access to opportunities in higher education at her alma mater, Arizona State University. But she leaves Naleo after having helped this organization promote the participation of millions of Latinos in the American political process. I'd like to ask Karen if she could join me on stage so I could extend a small gift on behalf of all of us. And if could you all join me in thanking her.
Now, our, some of you recognize what, right? You all know what this is from. So I don't know if you all know that you know, this is the second time Karen leaves the organization. <laughs> she, uh, she first thought she was going to leave about, uh, it was in 2006. Mm -hmm. So uh, being the good boss I wanted to be, I, I gave her a little box like this. And so this is the rest of the set. <laughs> I am in complete denial that this is all a ruse on her part to get the bracelet too. <laughs> but Karen, we've been a great team. You're never gonna leave Naleo. No. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Arturo, and my Naleo family. With my nearly 20-year journey with Naleo, I would like to say, I think it's more fitting that I thank you and Naleo for the opportunity to work by your side. I'm very nervous. I don't do this. It's been important and my privilege to advance Naleo's mission on behalf of our community and my time and Aleo has truly been unparalleled professional experience, one that I will treasure, and one that has prepared me to extend Aleo's work where work is much needed. Arturo, my longtime boss, well-recognized work husband, <laughs> confidant, <laughs> mentor, and brother. Thank you for the opportunity over these years to hone our craft and shape it to meet Naleo's priorities. And to all of you, you're for your friendship and support of Naleo and of our communities. It's been my distinct pleasure and honor to serve. Thank you. Once again, thank you for being with us this evening, and please join us for the dessert reception. Good night.